our homes of the future may not look different, but how they're built may be completely new. Building materials are getting a makeover, and companies are rethinking how homes are designed. So right now, yep. we are essentially in the penthouse. Why isn't this a fancy apartment? For Biomason, innovation means redesigning one of construction's most popular materials. You're actually trying to then grow the cement, right? That's right. Calcium carbonate in the ocean, seashells and coral, and you realize that's grown in an environment which doesn't cause any impact on the environment. Right. So we set out to grow our own cement. How do you actually do that? We take bacteria and we put it in our aggregate or sand and that bacteria takes a solution of calcium and nitrogen and grows around each grain of aggregate as cement components. We haven't done any genetic modifications to it, so it literally is just using the same organisms that are already doing things similar in, in a marine environment. Exactly. Right. Making cement the traditional way means burning limestone, a process that's responsible for 5% of the world's CO2 emissions. By using a bacteria to bind the concrete, Biomason's cutting down on pollution. It takes three days to grow. When it's done, it's taken to a construction site and mixed to create concrete. We've front-loaded, if you will, a lot of technology into you know, making the material as easy to use as possible, just being able to add water. We didn't want to be the only ones manufacturing. That's how you're going to make a big impact, is on a global scale, not just from, from one centralized location. Building the homes of the future may mean planning for catastrophes. Hurricane Sandy devastated New York in 2012. Flooding knocked out power and caused thousands of people to evacuate. A few weeks later, JDS development started planning their newest high-rise. When we started designing this building right after Hurricane Sandy, um, we were working with a group of 50 or 60 people that had all just lived through the problem. And so we went around the room and we said, what happened to you? and we solved every one of those problems. So what's so different about this building than let's say, you know, one of those skyscrapers I see out yeah. the window? Even today, if we were to design this building, um, this actually even goes beyond all the current building codes and all the current flood regulations that exist in New York. They designed flood-proofing measures below the building, made sure their electric system was far above flood levels, and installed a fleet of generators where the penthouse would be. But most buildings, at least in Manhattan, don't do this. No, nobody does this. They didn't do it pre-Hurricane Sandy because uh, nobody had seen that type of problem exist before. Nobody said, why would you want to live in your building for an extended time at a power outage? The notion that you can't leave or that you shouldn't leave or that it's safer in your building than outside um, is a relatively new concept, and that's what climate change is bringing. Natural gas power generators means that residents will have power, even if the rest of Manhattan is in the dark. Of course, people have to be able to live in their apartments, which means they have to have functioning elevators, which we have. They have to be able to flush a toilet. And then all the refrigerators are on emergency power, and then one outlet in every kitchen. And how often is the natural gas service disrupted? It didn't get turned off in Hurricane Sandy, um, which is why we started using natural gas here. It's not impossible, um, but it's certainly more reliable than getting a diesel truck delivery every six hours. Um, I mean, is it irresponsible to build a new skyscraper in Manhattan and not really seriously take into account climate change, how the island is going to have to adapt and change? Yeah, the answer is of course. If you, if you ask the question a slightly different way and you were to say, would it be irresponsible for someone to build a building today um, without taking in fire safety. To build a building in New York um, and not take flood regulation into effect is now illegal. In the future, smart tech won't be limited to inside your home. It'll be in your house's foundation and in its blueprints. How we're building is changing, even if you can't see it.